My name's Skid Robot. Uh, I've been doing art since I was a child. I've been doing graffiti since high school and started the Skid Robot project about a year ago. I was catching spots with my girlfriend one night around Skid Row and I kept expressing to her, you know, I wanted to do something different than just paint my name or hit up my crews as I've, I've been doing. And we came up to a red light and there was a, a person sleeping on the floor and she brilliantly suggested that I paint that person dreaming of money. And immediately I, I took to it, grabbed a spray can, jumped out the ride and, and painted it. And as I took the picture, I could feel the strength of, of what I was capturing. After the first night, I realized, hey, you know what? I'm gonna be doing this. And if I'm gonna be doing this, I wanna be helping people while I'm out here. So with, with my girlfriend, we'd, we'd go to the 99 cent store, we'd get all kinds of items, we'd make care packages, and we'd cruise the streets looking for new people to do art around and for more short stories to share. There's so many, so many aspects to the homeless uh, issue that it can't be, be defined by one thing. Uh, for example, the mentally ill were kicked out on the street so many years ago when the facilities were closed. Uh, there are illegal immigrants that have to stay on the streets because they can't get a legitimate place to live. Uh, there are people escaping prison terms from other states that come here to hide out in the streets. Um, you know, this is talking about Skid Row primarily. Uh, and then you have the addicts and the severe alcoholics. We treat them as non-existent or as subhuman. And we look at them as if they don't deserve the same common courtesy and respect as we would treat anybody else with. And to some degree, we can judge, we can criticize and easily say things about these people. However, what I do with my art is about compassion and understanding and being a better human towards these people and offering a helping hand, or at least if you're not gonna offer a helping hand, don't, don't demean, don't, don't criticize, don't judge them for how they choose to live their life because you don't know their story. My installations are 3D. They're now physically occupying space in our reality, which connects to everything else around it and makes its presence much stronger. The art is to address the issue of extreme poverty and homelessness. And when someone drives by a living room under a freeway and could proclaim that it looks better than their own apartment, it's really sending a message. The end goal ultimately is to end extreme poverty worldwide. And this is connecting with people globally that are acting within their own communities and making a difference where they stand, all with the same goal and ambition to help the homeless, to help the impoverished, until it's not an issue anymore.